Today we'll talk about moving from using delay in order to time things in our code to using millis. This video was inspired from a question I saw online on how to blink two LEDs in different rates. If we wanted to blink an LED every 1000 millis and a second LED every 500 millis, we could still use delay like this. And as you can see, I split it the 1000 millis delay in between the f when I turn on the LED and turn it off into blinking the second LED high, low, with a delay of 500 millisecond in between. Now let's upload the code. And as you can see, it works well. And if this is what you need to achieve, using delay here is more than fine. But what will happen if we wanted to blink the faster one in 300 milliseconds instead of the 500 milliseconds? Here is where the use of delay makes it very complicated to not possible. So what to do? Stop using delay. We even got an example in the IDE called Blink Without Delay. Let's open it and review the code and see how it works. We first define a few variables, the let pin, the let state, which starts with the low, um, previous millis, and do note, we define this variable as unsigned long, and this is due to the size that millis can get to. It gets to really big numbers. You want the biggest variable you can get an unassigned one in Arduino, which is unassigned long. Next thing is the interval, which is how long to wait in millis between a switch, and I'll show you in a second. We create the, we define the let pin as an output, and then we do something really small. We save in a new variable called current millis, the current millis of the system, and then we take the current millis and remove the previous millis from it, and if it's bigger or equals to the interval, we set the current time into the previous time, so we know we've done a switch. And then it says if the let state is low, we give the let state high, which is logical, we're just switching it, and vice versa. If it's not low, that means it's high, so we need to set it back to low. And the last thing we do is we digital write to the let pin the state itself. Pretty simple, and now I'll just duplicate the logic into two LEDs and I'll show you the code. As you can see, I, dupli I duplicated the entire sets of variables, and the only thing I've changed is, of course, the pin itself and the interval, which the second one is 300 milliseconds. Now, I've defined it as an output as well, and I copied this section to here, just changing it, making sure I'm always using the two variables, and the only thing I've left as is is the current millis since I'm doing it in the same place. I will say in advance, this code is far from being efficient, there is duplicated code, but I wanted to keep it as close as possible to the example so it will be easy to understand. Now let's upload and see that it works well. As you can see, it works perfectly, and now we can even add more LEDs in different rates as well if we wish to. Hope this will help you out on your next project. And if you haven't done that yet, please subscribe, give a thumbs up, leave a comment, and see you next time.